Hello everybody. So today we are going to see how are we going to create users. How we are going to copy the user and how are we going to delete user and we'll see how to lock and unlock user. So to create the user, the first step is we have to go to SQ01. And we have to give the username or say I'm creating a user by name Ahmad. Okay. So after putting your name, you need to click create. Okay. And you have to give Mr. And you need to give a last name in Anwar and the first name Ahmad. Okay. These are mandatory. I'm like, okay, so other things are optional. If you want to give or not, it's not necessary. But the last name, the first name should be there. Okay, and once you have given the first name and last name, and then you have to click on save. Okay, so it is asking to enter an initial password. Okay, once you hit, you have to create the password here. Either you can use the SAP wizard for password or you can give your own password and provide it to the user. So let's create a user basis one two three basis one two three. This is just I'm giving a user a password. Okay. Now once I have given the password then again you have to save. But as I said like if the user has joined the project only for a period of duration, then you need to give the validity for that particular user. So you can give like he's joining on so and so date, you will assign the date and then how many months he will be going to be uh, for this project, you have to assign that date. Okay. So first you once you assign the validity period, then you need to click on save. Okay. Now there are other things which you have to do, okay. So go to change as we have given the password, okay. But unless and until you won't provide the rules or profiles to the user, then how he is going to work, right. So you have to give the profiles to the user. So without that, he cannot able to do anything, okay. So these are some default, uh, as I said, like SNC, you don't need to uh, give any information here. Uh, when it comes to the default, as I said, like here you need to be the printer which the user is uh, wants to use. Okay. So, and in parameters, if he is creating any program, adapters usually needs uh, a parameters they will tell you which parameter they want to be assigned to his user account okay so unless and until you won't provide the information you cannot create your own parameter okay and rules as I said like we are going to create some roles so if you have a created roles you have to assign that roles to the users okay so right now I will go and assign a profile SAP underscore all since I do not have the roles as of now to assign to this user. Okay. So, but in a company, you will get the role from the security person. He is the responsible person for providing you the roles for functional consultants as well as all other consultants. Okay. So, as of now, I am giving all authorization for this particular user. Okay. So SAP underscore all. Once you hit enter, this 
user will get all the SAP authorization rows. So once you have given this role, then you need to say. So that is how the user has been created. Now, as a basis consultant, you have created the user for this user Ahmed Anwar. Now, you have to provide this information to that user saying that this is your user ID and password to log on to SAP and so and so plan. Okay? So, I'm totally coming out uh, from the SAP. So, if you are going to main screen, you will just put slash n, but if you want to come out completely, you will give slash n e x. That means you are completely out from the SAP. So, again, you have to log on with SAP log on. Again, you have to go. So, say Ahmed is trying to log in through his system, okay? A basis consultant has created his credentials. So, what Ahmed will do, he will go and log in with the plan given to him and the user has been created by name Ahmed and the password, the basis consultant given is basis computing. For the first time when the Ahmed log on, he will be asked to change the password. In case if he didn't get that pop-up for changing a new password, that means that user should know that somebody has logged on using his credentials. So this is very, very important for any uh, new user or you, if you are going into company, you will be provided with the credentials, you need to see whether it's asking a new password or not. Okay, now I have given a password given by administrator, I have hit enter, now it asks to change the password. So now I am going to change the password, okay. So I have been assigned the password, now I can able to log in into the SAP successfully. Now if I want to see any transaction code, whether I have the roles or not, I can just simply put the some transaction, I can see, yep. I have the authorization, let me check for RG10, yeah. So that means I must got the authorization for whatever the authorization he needs. But since, as I said, like, I must has got SAP underscore all, but in the company, as I said, like security person who gives the particular roles which he needs assigned to that user, okay. So this is how you usually create the users. Now we will going to see how to copy the users. So for copying the user, for example, uh, another user is going to join, okay. So you as a business consultant want to create uh, the user as same as Ahmed. What you are going to do, means the manager told that give the new user same image as what Ahmed have. So what you are going to do, you have to go to S201, okay, and you what you will do, you will put Ahmed's name here and you will go and click copy. That means what you are doing here, you are copying the Ahmed to a new user. So from Ahmed to maybe that new user name is John, okay. So you have given the John. So what the John will getting, all the roles uh, profiles, whatever the Ahmed has given, it will be getting except password because it will ask for the password. So once you hit copy, see, it asks for the password. So again, you have to give the password for the John. Okay. Once you have given the password, you need to save. So once you save, this is how John can able to access. So you have given the John a user ID and uh, John and the password which you have just mentioned. Okay. So you have to give this to uh, John. So he can able to access the same profile whatever Ahmed has given. Okay. So this is how you are going to copy the user. Now for example like a user is 
has done with the project and he has left the company. So what you are going to do with the user which has already uh, were not existing. So you have to delete those users. How are you going to delete that user? Same transaction code will go HU01. Okay. And you will, for example, say John has left the company. Okay. So you are going to delete that user from the user master record. So you have to just put this name and you have to hit the delete. So the John will be get deleted from the SAP. So since we are deleting the user, it will take more time because it's um, depend on the rules, what rules has given. If you have given a lot of rules, then you know deleting lot uh, all the rules will take some time. So please tell me user John should be deleted. Yes. So once you hit, it will go and delete all its roles, whatever the parameters, profiles, whatever has been given to him, it will be deleted. Okay. So this is the procedure how you are going to delete the user and uh, from the system. Now one more thing I left with uh, showing you how to lock and unlock the user. Or I will. If you click on here, uh, you can open the create another session while this is working. So since, uh, as I said, like deleting the users will take a lot of time. I mean, like sometimes you know you cannot work parallelly with other dialog workers because might be using all the dialog work processes, right? to see how much data, how many data processes the user um, is taking. You can simply go to SAP management console Because since I opened one more session, so you know it's, it has occupied a lot of memory. I mean, it's, uh, the CPU, the usage, what usually, you know, it has been so, You have to go to add about work processes because you are going to see like, while well, deleting the user, how many work processes have occupied uh, you know, for this particular task. This is very important. See, this is one of the issue in the real time usually the uh, user check. They will tell the zero performance. So, the zero performance arise only when all the dialog work processes are occupied or is there any backup running behind at the back end. Okay. So, these are the common uh, issues the user gets when he is getting a slow performance. Or, or, you, uh, or is any user using long transaction, so in that case also, he will get a slow performance. So to avoid this performance, one has to monitor continuously you know, uh, how much CPU is consuming, how much memory is consuming by the users, and you have to immediately you know, escalate the users uh, for that particular issue that he is using uh, long running jobs or something like the dialog users, as I said, which is not a right way to do in the dialog. So maybe some users doesn't uh, know about the background uh, work process and dialog. They simply run the long running report in a dialog work processes and you know other users will face the issue because of that. So as a basic consultant you are responsible to escalate to that user to just come out from that transaction from the program which is going to be running in the dialogue. In this way other users 
won't be getting any issue. So in our next session, uh, we will be going to learn the next topic and okay so I will go to the before conclusion I want to show how to lock and unlock the user okay as Ahmed like if you want to lock I am a you can simply go lock and unlock. So if you lock that means I am a right now is not locked but once you click on this the user Ahmed is locked. So if Ahmed trying to log in he it says your account is locked. So he will again come back to you saying that the account is locked, can you click unlock? So you are going and clicking on that and you will unlock this as an administrator. So this is how you unlock and lock the user. So hope you understood the concept of how you are going to create the users, how are you going to delete the users, how you are going to copy the users and the concept of locking and unlocking the users. Thank you so much. Bye.